What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. So I know I've been meaning to get this video out earlier, but as I said in earlier videos, real busy this week, real crazy week. I still gotta wash my hair. It's a whole, it, like I said, it's just real, been real busy, but I'm here and now we are about to talk about your boy, Chucky, and the brand new 2019 Child's Play. Y'all, listen, I'm not trying to, you know, make it something out that it's not. I enjoyed the new Chucky, okay? I enjoyed the new Child's Play. It was a different take. It's a whole new era of Chucky. And I'm going to just say this right now. I'm going to do my best to not, like, spoil it, per se. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna, I might talk about a couple of moments and just basically explain what I think about it. So... Basically, as I said, it's a whole new era of Chucky because for those of you who have, I'm sure, seen the original Child's Play back in 1980-something, late 80s, uh, you know, Chucky, how he was formed by this uh, crook, Brad Dorf character, um, Charles Lee Ray. You know, he was running from the cops, he ended up getting shot, goes into a damn toy store. Um, he realizes he's dying, right? So he was like, he got to find somebody, right? So he found a good guy doll because, you know, in this new one, uh, it's not a good guy anymore. It's, they call him Buddy, you know? So um, they, he takes the good guy doll. He transfers his soul into the doll, right? He, he goes with the whole, I day do it, Dambala. Give me the power I beg of you shit, right? But um, compared to 2019, that this was none of that. It wasn't no voodoo shit. wasn't no witch doctor shit. wasn't no ritualistic well, kind of shit going on, but just more modern, advanced technology shit in 2019 version. So, as I said, you know, it wasn't no transferring souls to the dolls in this one. So, um, basically, they were showing, like, how um, the Buddy doll was created and, like, the factory, the sweatshops, all that type of, all that type of shit. And there was one guy, he was kind of like, I guess, sleeping on the job. And here comes this one asshole. He was just like basically telling him, you know, you're nothing. You're a piece of shit in their own language. And so basically, um, that guy, he was like, oh, okay, I'm all of this shit. So I'm finna fuck up your shit, right? So basically, he takes one of the buddy dolls and he turns all the safety shit off of the doll. Like, he basically makes this doll evil. Because, you know, the buddy dolls, their eyes light up blue. But, you know, this is how Chucky became Chucky in this newfound, uh, you know, child's play. So, he turned the safety off everything, you know. This motherfucker is going to malfunction the fuck up, okay? He's going to mouth the function. He's going to mouth the boy fuck. He's going to mouth the fuck unction. Ma no, mouth the funk function. I said funk. Forget it. Anyway, and that is how Chucky was born. So... Um, we switch over to a new scene, and <laughs> the guy who did the shit, he falls out of the damn blue on a car, and, you know, because he basically killed himself, and we, we, we get inside, like, you know, when they show the opening credits for the name of the movie, uh, Chucky's eyes lights up red as a motherfucker, like, bright, um, bright airhead red, you know, bright hot Cheeto red, like, real light, and then, you know, they had opening credits for Child's Play, and it just goes from there, so... You know, Andy's mom, you know, she pretty much, she works in this, you know, like, like a cheap knockoff version of Walmart. I think it was called Zed Martin or something. So, um, this one guy, he comes in, he brings back a Chucky doll. And I believe which it was the bust down Tatiana, um, version of the, the doll, like the bust down version of the one that I, I think that she gave to Andy. So, um, we're going to skip a little bit past all that. So, basically, it was kind of like the old one where, you know, she found a cheap knockoff buddy. Well, in the original, like I said, it was a good guy doll. Um, um, but in 2019's version, it was, it's, you know, it's called Buddy Doll. Back in the 80s, it was a good guy. So, you know, the old mama, she got it. She got it. A bust down. A good guy doll from this homeless dude, right? And so in this version, she got she got the little bust down version from the guy, I believe, if not the other woman or some shit. So anyway, they were gonna ship the damn doll back uh, cause she asked the guy, one of the workers there, you know, where does this shit go? And so she basically was explaining that, you know, just give me the doll, I'm gonna give it to my son. So 
she eventually takes the doll. You know, he convinces she, she convinces the guy um, to give him the doll and stuff. So, bam. So we notice uh, the new Andy. He has like a hearing aid in his ear, so he, I guess he's deaf or whatever. He can't really hear per se out of at one of his ears. She brings the doll home. He opens the shit up, and uh, there is Chucky. So. Because in the commercial, they show how Chucky, he could turn on, well, the buddy doll, he could turn on, you know, he could turn the damn thermostat shit on, like, from cold to hot, whatever. He got a little boom boom radio, uh, and they scan, you know, the new doll, it scans you, you know, the child, it scans you. It's like a whole type of webcam type of situation, sometimes some type of security type of thing. And, uh, you know, the whole, I'm your friend to the end thing. You know, they sing songs, you know, you are my buddy. You are, you know, if you saw the movie, you know what I'm saying. Um, and they repeat everything you say. They record shit. It's a whole new, like I said, it's a whole new type of Chucky. Whole new type of damn doll. It's not a good guy. It's called a buddy for a reason. And buddy has a damn app. You know what I'm saying? Buddy has an app. Buddy has Uber. Okay, they call it, uh, I think the name of the company is called Clasper, Casper, something like that. Casper the Friendly Ghost. Um, and yeah, they have Uber self-driving ubers you know they have the you know the cars where they got they drive by themselves i just wouldn't recommend that to anybody we're gonna get into that a little bit later on and how that played a part in this damn movie but um so he so chucky started speaking and uh you know andy i forgot exactly what name he said you know your name is gonna be da da da, da. and chucky was like you know okay my name is chucky and andy was like i wasn't even close to that so what was crazy was like when Andy showed him his room and like he was holding his hand as if he was like a little baby or something like as if he was like his little brother. It was it was funny. And don't get me wrong and don't judge me. It was kind of cute the way he was walking. It was just weird because it was like in the original one, we didn't see that at first. Like Chucky holding hands and being all nice and stuff in the beginning. But we see exactly how Chucky turned into Chucky in this new child's play. So, basically, he was just showing uh, his room around, like his sketches and stuff. And apparently, in this one, uh, Andy's father is alive. Because in the old one, Andy, uh, Andy's dad was uh, had died or whatever. Because he had said Chucky was sent from, from heaven by his dad. So, in this one, his dad is alive. We just don't know where the hell he is. So, clearly, he must have been a deadbeat or something. Or they must have just had a bad breakup and he can't even see Andy as much. We don't know. They might share that in the next one whenever they make it. So, um, you know, we go off into the next day. And basically, Andy is, like, showing Chucky different things. He's brushing his teeth. Chucky's doing, like, the movement. So, at this point, Chucky is learning shit now. So, you got to be careful with that shit. And then Andy, he was in the kitchen making some kind of peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And he, like, stabbed the knife into the little thing. And then Chucky, he was like... Like, you see, you're teaching them how to stab and shit. You know what I'm saying? And basically, I really think that Chucky, he really, he really wanted to be Andy's friend. But you see, Andy with his like kind of troubled life, he was starting to see things that was bothering Andy. And lo and behold, Chucky handled that ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get to that in a minute. So um, Andy's mother, I forgot what her name. I think it was Karen, Mary, something. Somebody let me know in the comments. Um, she has this asshole boyfriend who ain't shit. And I'll tell y'all why in a bit. Um, Andy's boyfriend. I'm Andy. Oh, God. Andy's mother's boyfriend. Okay, if I didn't say that the first time. He's a bit of a prick. All Every time Andy comes in the picture, every time he's seen, he's pretty much finished getting some nuki naki from uh, Andy's mom, pretty much. And you know, Andy, he don't he don't like his ass. He just don't. He really don't. He don't. He don't. He don't. And we see why. I Andy could give two shits about him. And Chucky sees that he doesn't really give a shit about him. And eventually, um, this was the start of how Chucky started to get on his, you know, Chucky shit. So, you know, Andy was teaching Chucky how to make like these creepy faces and it was just looking real creepy because I mean, they made Chucky look so plasticky, like, like he looked like he'd been through the factory about a little bit too many times. Like that's the problem. Like his face looked like, uh, like some bad plastic surgery, but he didn't look that bad. But still, like he he's a completely different doll from back in the '80s and up. But um, he eventually like got Chucky to scare 
uh, his mother's boyfriend and he was all creeped out by him and stuff which was funny though because he was like ah you know it was funny and uh that's how he meets these two friends right it was a guy a, a boy and a girl I forgot their names too and uh, he shows them off to uh he shows Chucky off to them so Andy and Chucky was hanging out with him and the kids and uh they eventually meeting up well Andy met Mike uh first the uh Detective Mike or whatever um and Detective Mike he stays with his mom and they had ran him ran into him again uh looked like they was hanging out in the alley or something so but let's get into the juicy part of it so um basically Andy, right? Andy, he's starting to really get fed up with um, his mother's boyfriend. So, I think his name was Sean or something. Somebody let me know these people's name in the comment because I forgot. You know, I saw this last Friday, I believe. So, just, just you know, just bear with me. Anyway, and so Sean and his mama boyfriend, he gonna have a nerd to come up in Andy's room talking about something, you know, you be a man and you say something, you got a problem. Man, I'm like, you don't get your punk ass about this boy room because I didn't know what was going down. I was, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what was about to go down when he pushed Andy on the bed. I'm like, hold on, hold on. And Chucky was just witnessing all of this. He was sitting on the floor. And, you know, when he left out the room, Andy was in tears. He was like, you know, I wish you'd just go away. I wish you'd just go away. I can't stand him. I thought I wish his ass was gone. And so Chucky, his ass, that was, I think that was like the first time uh, oh, I forgot to mention the cat. They had an asshole cat. You see, this why I don't really fuck with cats. Because cats can be motherfucking ass motherfucking hoes, right? So, the damn cat was a name. What was his name? Rumi? He gonna scratch Andy. And Chucky, that's the first time he got triggered by that. Because, you know, like I say, Andy's his best friend. So, he gonna ride or die for his homeboy. So, he almost choked the shit out of that damn cat. And Andy was like, look, you can't hurt people and you can't hurt things. I mean, well, cats and shit, pets, whatever, animals, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, Chucky was like, bitch, basically telling that little fucking furball, don't you hurt my dog, it's my road dog. Right? It was crazy. I was like, is he gonna kill the damn cat? So yeah, let's go back. Let's fast forward. Um, This was like pretty much Chucky's first kill. Um, Before we get to that, he did eventually kill Romy though, because... Uh, Andy's mama, I, I don't know if it's Mary or Karen. Somebody let me know, like I said. Let me know in the comments. They locked Chucky up in the cabinet. Chucky broke the fuck out. Andy went to go look in the cabinet. He saw some shattered glass and shit. He saw some blood. He opened that motherfucker and it was a dead ass cat up in there. And he had to put the cat in the damn uh, uh, garbage for, for, uh, furnace thing because Chucky got the fuck out. He was like, fuck y'all and this cat. I'm getting up out of here. Okay, so now, like I said, we get into Chucky's first body, which was Shane. The boyfriend name was Shane. The mama name is Karen. I thought it was Karen. So, anyway, Shane is on his way back to his damn house, right? And this motherfucker got a whole wife and kids. Like, you bastard, you dirty, low-down bastard. No wonder your ass is always seen finishing up, buckling your damn pants, getting some nooky. You fucking bastard, but you got a wife and two daughters at home. So let's just... People is just so damn unsatisfied. What the fuck you get married for, you ignorant bastard? You ignorant ginger head bastard. Anyway, his ass, he getting up out the car and shit. He all, oh, I'm excited to see my girl, blah, blah, blah. Really? 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 Yeah, anyway, eventually his ass is outside. He about to take the damn Christmas lights off. He complained about that. He just seemed like an asshole and all. You know what I'm saying? So, as he's doing that, this is when Chucky prepares for the motherfucking kids. So... So yeah, anyway, he heard like some noise and shit, Shane that is. Um, he was like, you know, he thought it was some raccoons, but lo and behold, it's not no raccoon at all. It is a doll, and he is on the loose to kill your motherfucking ass. So eventually Chucky catches up to the ladder, knocks the shit off. This motherfucker falls from the roof and breaks his motherfucking leg bone. This shit was painful to watch and his ass falls on the floor. His two kids, his two daughters is sitting on the couch. They got the headset and shit on, right? Listening to music more than likely. They both look out the window and it's like, fuck it, back to the music or whatever they was doing. And so his ass is just crawling on the floor, just crawling for help. And, uh, they got this watermelon patch. I don't know what the fuck that shit was. That like, usually you would see a pumpkin patch, but I don't know what the fuck. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can grow fruit and shit, but you know what I'm saying? Like a watermelon patch, like this was some crazy shit, hold on. So yeah, as he's just crawling on the floor, you know, like a typical horror movie, what the hell? Um, you know, you hear Chucky and shit running around. 
you know, for a quick second, and all of a sudden you see this little like lawn mowing thing machine, and it's just like like it's coming towards his way because the Christmas lights and wires and cords and shit is trapped up in there, and it's slowly like coming to him, like da 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 da, you know, it's just getting it's getting crazy, it's getting crazy. So Chucky eventually catches up to him and walks all on him. He was like, look, don't nobody fuck with my best friend, bitch. This is for Tupac. Because the little black boy Andy was hanging out with, he said, he told Chucky to say, this is for Tupac. And so he finally said it, stabbed his motherfucker. Yeah, 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 ya, bitch. And then his head and shit is all fucked up and it gets caught up in the little llama. Just, it's all fucked up. Blood every fucking way. Blood on the watermelons. Blood on the crops and corns and soils and the dirt and shit in the motherfucking up to be seeds coming up for the next watermelons and probably pumpkin some damn where we just ain't seen the motherfucking ooh shit and that's where it gets crazy because Chucky he he retaliated from all that because at first I meant to say them kids and in the kids they was uh watching an old Texas Chainsaw Massacre and something similar like that happened so with the stabbing and the skinning of the face and shit, cause you know Leatherface ass, he always taking somebody face off and then putting it on his, like that old nasty stank ass shit. I bet you, oh lord, I bet you he ain't washed his damn body in ages. I bet you he smells like nothing but bodies and bodies and guts and gore and everything else disgusting. So yeah, all of a sudden we get to a brand new scene, beautiful bright morning, so we thought. And Andy as he wake up to go do handle his business, and there's a big ass head sitting on his dresser. It's Shane's head all patched up and sold and stapled onto a big ass watermelon. And it just gave me like that old like 80s uh, horror movie feel to it. Like where they would do some crazy shit like that. Somebody's face would be planted somewhere on like a ball or something like that. It gave me that old horror movies vibe to it. So I like that. Even though it's creepy as hell. And so, you know, obviously he had to get rid of that shit. And he told his friends, they tried to throw the shit in the garbage, that shit didn't, that shit surely the fuck didn't work. Um, and they had to, like, try to send it out as, as a gift to Detective Mike's mom, and it was just a complete disaster from then. Because, uh, eventually, um, there was a janitor, went well, no. yeah, janitor, slash, like, creepy guy. And I swear I thought he was Jack Black at first, but that clearly was not him. Um, he was a creep. Because, like, at the beginning of the movie, uh, Karen, Andy's mom, she gets ready to go up to her apartment on the elevator. He was like, hey. And he was just still looking at her while she was on the elevator. So I said, I knew his ass was going to be a creep. So, uh, Chucky bodied his ass, too. We're going to get to that part in a minute. So, after what happened with um, Shane, uh, Andy had to tell Chucky, listen. We, we're gonna go play now because he had him locked up in his closet or something and I kind of feel bad for him a little bit because it's like Chucky he really wants to protect Annie but he's, he's doing it with like a dark twist to it you know what I'm saying he out here bodying motherfuckers first he got rid of the cat then he got rid of Shane or however which way it went first I can't remember but anyway um basically uh Chucky the um the kids they like like got on him and stuff hauled him hauled on him and stuff held him down and they took the little piece of him out, you know, his little, basically his little mini Iron Man heart and, you know, unplugged him, threw him in the garbage. And that's how the damn creepy ass janitor cameraman guy found him and tried to re-switch him up and put a little battery up in there. I think he was going to sell him. But lo and behold, Chucky had some for that creepy ass because he had cameras and shit of Karen up in the bathroom, taking off her clothes, getting ready to take a shower. His creepy ass was about to feel on himself, play with his shaboink boink. Shaboink boink! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it was disgusting. Uh, but Chucky was like, no, nah, you motherfucking hell. No, Chucky got the fuck up and told um, his little cheap ass Alexa, lights off, bitch. And he said, lights on. And all of a sudden, this motherfucker, he gets cut and shit in the back of his leg. Oh, God. That Achilles shit or whatever. And he gets on top of this table where it's like a, um, a little saw, a little and you know, he, he ends up grabbing onto his little like pipes and shit, but Chucky turned the heat up and shit, and that was burning his hands, and all of a sudden, he falls, and it splits his ass in two, starting with his nuts. Shit was disgusting. It was blood, ball, and gut juice everywhere. Oh, my God. And, um, and before he killed creepy-ass janitor guy, so um, Chucky was seeing what's going on in detective mike in his mom's apartment and andy was there for dinner because they had him over and stuff when andy gave 
Mike's mom that damn gift, which was Shane's head, but we didn't know about it because they said they had to hurry up and haul ass and say, you know, we're going to open this present on, my, on Andy's birthday. So, um, you know, that's basically what the mom was saying and she was saying to Andy, oh, you're my new best friend. And obviously Chucky wasn't with that shit. He didn't appreciate that shit. So when he finally got himself charged the fuck back up, um, and Detective Mike's mom, she goes on this little bowling shit or whatever. You know, she have her little ladies night, little thing. And so, you know, Mike, he already had a feeling he didn't want her to go. So he was like, put your seatbelt on at least, right? So she got picked up from the Casper, a Clasper um, Uber, right? So the car drove by itself. And I said, yep, this is going to go completely the fuck alive. I said, yep, Chucky is doing this shit. So during this time, Andy definitely knew something was up. And because uh, at the time, the little black boy uh, and his friend, I think he had a buddy doll. And I think he knew that was Chucky. And he knew that he was operating that damn self-driving ass car to take Mike Mama to the bowling thing. But she couldn't even get out. So what happened was Chucky, I mean, not Chucky, uh, Andy, he saw the whole buddy webcam and shit running in Chucky, running on Chucky and shit. And, you know, it was following the damn mama to the bowling place. And Andy was like, oh, motherfucking shit. But he was too late to get to her and whatnot. So, so the mama, she rides the bowling alley. She, like I said, she couldn't even get out. That motherfucker backed up, reversed, did a 360 spin or hell, 240, something like that. It was just like, Jurr. Chucky said, basically, skirt, skirt, bitch, you ain't gonna take my motherfucking friend, biatch. So he just had her going all over the damn round the world and I, yeah, 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 right? <laughs> so, um, basically she started praying. She said, help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus. 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 I couldn't help but to think of Medea on uh, Medea Halloween, something like that. Medea Boo, something like that. The first one when they was running from all the zombies. She was like, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. It was hilarious, but it was messed up at the same time. It was like, damn, mama gonna die. So, eventually, the car, he, he stopped the car from doing all that shit. And he was like... Look, bitch, this is my Andy, my best friend. He's mine. And then he had said, peekaboo. And then they had made it into one of them old quiet ass scenes in like a horror movie, like with somebody hiding or something. And they hear something, and then it gets like super quiet. And he turned, she turned around. She ain't seen nothing at first. I said, but I know he up in that car though. I know he is. And so he said, bitch, I said peekaboo. And then he stabbed her. I said, God damn it. So eventually Mike shows up on the scene. And it was just a little quick, sad scene. I'm glad it didn't make it super dramatic. He lifted up the cheese, he saw his mom. Ugh, it was sad. But when he looked up, he was pissed the fuck off. And so he was just like, you know, noticing all these damn murders happening so fast. And then I remember at the dinner table when he noticed that the gift was gone, I'm sure. And seeing that Andy was looking all, you know, uneasy because he know that Shane's dead head is in that fucking present and shit. And so, um... He, exp he got, Mike had, it got exposed to that, um, Mike had got exposed to that, uh, that dead head being in the garbage or whatever. So that's how he just felt that Andy had something to do with all of these murders. And clearly it wasn't, it was obviously Chucky. Nobody was believing him. It was just like the old one where, um, they took Andy away to this little, like, crazy nut house and stuff. But he was telling the truth. But obviously nobody was believing him because it's a doll. They thought this boy was mentally fucked up. And... Um, Andy was back home and, you know, he was just trying to explain to his mom that, you know, Chucky was doing all this crazy stuff, right? And, you know, his mom wasn't believing him and stuff and it was just kind of making me mad because it was for real, for real. Like, this boy is not doing nothing. He ain't murdering no damn body, okay? And so all of a sudden, Andy started hearing the peekaboo shit. He had said, if they don't let us play, we all go away. And then he did the little Joker lab because the guy who plays Chucky in this one, um, he, you know, he also plays the voice of the Joker in the Batman games and in the cartoons back in the day. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. And uh, he had showed his mom, and I was like, oh shit, his mom in trouble more than likely. And then they had showed the damn clip where, the, where um, Detective Mike's mom was get was about to die and get killed and shit. And so he like was beating on the TV and shit with the bat. His mom came up in there, and she was like, oh my god. Oh my God. And so he did, he went to work. He ended up uh, going to work with his mom. And at this point, this is when shit got real, real. So 
And before I continue, I know I'm a bit all over the place, but you know, I was just a bit excited and stuff. And I might have missed a few parts, but hey, I'm pretty much damn near telling the whole thing. I know I said I wasn't going to spoil it, but I mean, hell, it's been a week anyway. So, anyway, at the toy store, and the friends were pretty much figuring out that Andy was right about Chucky. Because they had like a falling out, and the boy, because him and the boy had gotten into a fight at the toy store before that. And he was like, man, oh, he's a freak, he's this and that, we're not friends with him no more. All that fuck shit, fuck y'all. Fuck y'all, I was mad at y'all for that shit, because he was right you know what I'm saying? What if Chuck could have killed y'all ass? But anyway, they're at the toy store, and um, basically, this, like I said, this is when shit got real. They were doing like this brand new um, opening for the buddy, the new buddy dolls. I think it's the buddy two coming out, and that's kind of like a bit of an Easter egg for pretty much saying it's gonna be another um, child's play movie. Ain't no way in hell. Now they have a buddy doll and then buddy two. Like they got a blonde Chucky, they got a, you know, obviously the ginger head, the original, and then they got like a tan, very dark tan Chucky. I don't know if they're trying to make him look black, but they did a horrible job at that. But um, anyway, I meant to say too, when they got in that fight, that was because Chucky was in the store and uh, he was basically trying to convince everybody, you know, this shit's going down. Cause he had like the little webcam shit trying to make Andy look crazy of him killing Shane and his head being on Andy's dresser. And that's when that whole thing went to hell with the kids and stuff and his mom saying look you coming to work with me bada bing bada boom right so they finally get there like i say it's the grand opening for the new buddy doll everything getting ready andy's looking all crazy like what the hell is going on and uh the guy that worked there he's dressed up in the new buddy doll um like a mascot type of shit going on detective mike he gets there eventually and uh he like is pretty much about to arrest andy and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? So left from there. They were doing like a countdown, like some Happy New Year type of shit. Uh, the guy, he tries to come out from behind the stage. He gets stabbed in the neck by Chucky. And he like bends down in front of this little girl. He takes the mask off. Damn, neck is just be bleeding out gusher ass blood. Gusher ass, slimy ass, thick ass blood. It was disgusting. And Detective Mike, he had to go see what was going on. So he gonna handcuff Andy and put him on this like card or some shit. Like, look, yo, this is a bit much. And uh, before you know it, the countdown, it gets to three, two, one, happy new year. Chucky is on the damn screen. It's like, y'all motherfuckers finna die, bitch. I'm your friend to the fucking end. All of a sudden, all the other animatronics start waking up. Ha! Ah! As I was saying, all of a sudden, all the other damn buddy dolls. And a damn, they even had a little mini Freddy Fazbear little thing up in there. But it's, it's under the damn buddy establishment, under the buddy and corporations and companies and brands and shit. They even had damn drones and shit with blades on them just slicing and dicing motherfuckers and they had got one of them had got detective mike and he had told the little boy hey run because this shit is real out here it was like a damn toy robotic android toy apocalypse in the zed mart store the shit was fucking crazy everybody was going crazy everybody had to run all of a sudden andy's mom is nowhere to be fucking found and andy he's trying to figure out what the hell is going on and just when he thought he was finna get mauled by a little bitty ass mini ass uh cheap brand of freddy fazbear so five nights of freddy shit going on old girl come and save the motherfucking day and chop his ass up in the pizza. zoom 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 boom 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 right so He's basically saying, look, we got to get up out of here. We got to go. Bam. We got to, uh, where's Chucky? He gone? Okay, cool. But on the screen, Chucky has Andy, mama all tied up and shit. And he was like, yo, that's my mom. But the kid was like, no, we got to come up. We're going to call the police. And he was like, okay. But he was like, hell no, he can't leave his mama. He can't leave his mama like that. So he just closed the damn little thing. And he was like, I'm going to get my mama. So he go in the back of the factory. And lo and behold, it was like real quiet, real scary like. And uh, he sees her hanging, you know, got this, you know, rope and shit around her neck. Because she's going to fucking hang to death. And so basically, Chucky is trying to like deceive Andy in his head. Basically saying, you know, all these people, you know, they not, they not your friend. They not here for you. Including his own damn mama. And, you know, obviously Andy wouldn't believe in that crap. And uh, eventually, Andy, he kind of has like a bit of a face off with Chucky. So, you know, this is when you see the real evil Chucky, you know, his eyes is red and everything. You know, he all fucked up and shit. I'm like, what is going on? Him off. He gets to the top of the damn rope because, you know, it, his mama is, is slowly hanging and he got to get his ass up there to save her. And so he's trying to cut this damn rope. 
and all of a sudden out of nowhere he pops the fuck out of nowhere red eyes and all andy screams chucky like you know jumps on his back and shit while he trying to cut the rope and shit still eventually breaks they all fall on the floor chucky he gets up and he gets on top of andy like he finna stab him and andy starts singing the you are my buddy song trying to like calm chucky down and knocks his ass off and he finna go find his mom for some reason she like you know, she, you know, disappeared from me. I'm like, where the hell did she go that fast? And the end got shot. Because Detective Mike was still alive, and he shot his ass. He was like, this is the end. And the mama was like, bitch, don't fuck with my motherfucking son, bitch. Bow, 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 bow. Just kept hitting him until that motherfucker was dead. So lo and behold, it was a bit of a happy ending. The mom was alive. Detective Mike was alive. They was, by, they was both by each other side by side. So you know they obviously going to be booed the fuck up by the next movie. Um... And so Andy and his two buddies, you know, they all get together and jump on and jump the shit out of Chucky and just bow, bow, bow. It kind of reminded me of uh, It from 2017 when they all, you know, whooped on uh, It's ass and shit and, you know, drowned his ass down the fucking sewer so he could fucking float and see how the fucking feels. And uh, basically the guy, Henry, who was like in charge, like the big boss and stuff of the uh, Casper or Clasper, um, toys and shit like that, the buddies and, and the damn, the apps and shit, everything that he has, he said, look, we were calling all this shit, we sorry for all these technical ass, crazy ass difficulties, however, they will be back when they all together, so at the end of the movie, um, the, the new buddy doll, his eyes lit the fuck up red, and I was like, well, Chucky will be back, and y'all, I know I said I wasn't gonna spoil this movie, but like I said, it's been a week, some of y'all should have been saw this shit already, um, I enjoyed the movie though. Like seriously, I appreciate it. It was I'm I'm here for this new era of Chucky. Like it's a whole new modern Chucky with the whole technology, you know. And this is basically like saying to us, be careful. I mean, we already got Siri, we got Alexa, we got all these electronic devices that can turn that, that you know have voices and shit, and like how that shit can malfunction and it could just go completely haywire. And it's just no, it's not a good look. But I'm definitely hoping that it will be a sequel because, I mean, pretty much from the different articles and stuff that I've read, it, like, basically set up a sequel for the new modern Chucky. So it's like, why not? Hell, I'm here for it. So I'll be I'll be here and ready when the next one come out. And uh, we can't, I can't wait to see what type of adventures and shit Chucky is going to do and how he going to body motherfuckers because, I mean, Chucky, he has a history, okay? Chucky has a list. Chucky has, like, he, Chucky got bodies on bodies, like, you know, the way he killed Andy's aunt, just put a, a fucking kid's hammer right to her fucking eye, and she got so damn fucked up and dizzy in the head, her ass flew out the window and landed on a damn truck to her death. It was crazy. Like, seriously, Chucky, he has had some pretty crazy kills, so I'm, I'm excited to see what this new android Chucky would do in the next part, so, uh, yeah. But it was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. You know, some people, they complain. They talking about how he looks like a mini Donald Trump, a mini Michael Myers. Somebody said he looked like Chris Jenner. I was too through. But, um, yeah, other than that, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. And like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to the sequel. Because, you know, definitely the way it ended. It's like, obviously, he going to be back. So, bring his ass the fuck back. So, but with that being said, if you guys made it to the end of this video, please hit the like button, okay? Comment below what you guys thought about the new Child's Play. Did you like it? Did you not? There's something that they could do better. You know, maybe they could reconstruct his face again, you know. I don't know. Um, and if there's anything else I can react to for you guys, please let me know in the comment section as well. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on my Instagram, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys for the next movie review or reaction video, okay? Thank you for watching. Taylor Rain, I'm out this thing.